Okay then, so this is going to be a quick uh, unboxing and a little bit of a look at the delivery of some lithium iron phosphate or LIFEPO4 batteries which I've just bought from EcoWorthy. Um, they've all just been delivered in a, a big box uh, and I've got three times 30 amp hours in here. Uh, well, we'll take a look at the batteries in a moment. I mean, I've picked these up to go into a camper van build. And within the camper van that we've got, space is very much at a premium. Uh, so I wanted to go with lithium to give myself um, enough uh, power without, um, you know, really taking over the entire, uh, the entire van. And so three times 12 volts, uh, 30 amp hours, gives me 90 amp hours um, of capacity which I think is enough uh, for me to run for sort of in the region of um, four to five days, running a fridge, um, powering up phones uh, and some, some other devices, nothing, nothing hugely heavy. Um, let's have a look at the, um, what, what we've got inside the box then. So just pop it open with a pen here. And you can see inside um, packed in a, a bit of a sponge and then we've got a branded lithium battery from EcoWorthy. Uh, now EcoWorthy are a um, company based in China but actually these ship from a location in the UK. Uh, and I think from order to delivery, it was a little under two weeks. So fairly um, rapid turnaround, uh, got, got what I ordered uh, quite quickly. And straight away, you can see we've got here quite a well-made looking item. Um, got a bit of uh, guidance material on the back telling us... Uh, to uh, look after these things correctly, confirming that we've got 30 amp hours, uh, which it reckons is 360 watt hours. 30 amp hours times 12 volts will give that. Um, I guess, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a new unit. It's not something that's been used and just has a new label stuck on the front, which is uh, very good to see. Um, I guess the downsides are perhaps that these terminals are pretty small um, so in terms of really bolting some sort of chunky leads onto there um, you might start to worry that these are a little bit feeble but you know I, it's not it's not bad looking it looks pretty good and rugged in all other respects um, what I'll do is quick voltage check on these uh, see see how they look to both sides if I can get onto both sides okay and so I can see there don't know if you can check that out on the screen I've got 13.1 volts there and what I'll do is I'll just get the um, the other two out and we can see them all together see how we will stack them up when we've got the finished article together okay so we can see there that we've got um, three uh, batteries uh, all stacked up together. Um, I'll do the voltage checks on the others uh, in, in a moment. Uh, but the main thing I think is um, with, with space being quite tight, uh, you've got a, a block there of, of batteries which are taking up really very little space at all. Um, all of these can be um, put together in a little battery tray uh, and fitted into a very small space. Uh, they're going to fit into uh, the bottom of a kitchen unit in a 
Nissan Elbrand camper van conversion, so really pretty much a micro camper van. Um, and they'll stack up in parallel, so I'll have cables running from here to here to here to link the positives, here to here to here to link the negatives. Um, and instead of there being effectively just three separate 30 amp hour batteries, that will give me a single unit uh, which adds up to 90 amp hours in total, uh, and which I believe um, should, with, without great difficulty, give me sufficient power to be able to um, run my camper van uh, off grid away from a, a campsite if I want to uh, for several days without any worry at all. Um, I'm just simply going to power these uh, from the alternator with a battery to battery um, charger going, going with a uh, Victron one and we'll have this set up in um, a week or so uh, and when, when it's all in situ I will uh, do another video and show you how it all works. So um, I guess one of the factors here is size, but the other factor is um, cost. Uh, lots of people, me included, are put off by the cost of lithium. If you look at the sort of benchmark uh, battery, something like a Battleborn, uh, a 100 amp hour battery uh, from Battleborn uh, is going to cost you in, in the UK somewhere in the region of a thousand pounds. I suppose if I were to go with lead acid instead of uh, the, these sorts of units, I could get two 200 amp hour lead acid batteries, 200 amp hours of lead acid, really roughly speaking, equates to somewhere in the region, depending on who you ask, if you, if you run it down to 12.2 volts uh, and take that as your sort of midpoint at which you stop, somewhere in the region of about 40% of that is what you would get. So you, you might stretch it just about to 90 amp hours, so, so the same sort of thing. Uh, and you get that for, for less than 200 pounds in all likelihood. Um, so a saving compared to these batteries. Uh, these cost me um, a little shy of 320 pounds, uh, which included delivery, uh, tax, all, all the rest of it. Um, so total cost for three batteries was uh, just under 320 quid. Um, I think that EcoWorthy therefore sits um, sort of comfortably in the middle between those two. These, these have got uh, battery management in them, so I believe they should handle uh, and prevent low power charging. Um, certainly they'll look after themselves in terms of the way they put out charge with, without damaging themselves and should cut, cut off uh, before they completely exhaust themselves. Um, but we, I am expecting to be able to get 30 amp hours out of them, so I should get the full 90 amp hours out of these units. Um, the other alternative is to um, buy direct from the uh, Chinese manufacturers and buy, buy these uh, blue lithium ion batteries that you may, you may have seen. Um, they, they certainly are cheaper uh, and actually are probably cheaper even taking account of um, postage and the cost of import duty and so on than uh, the lead acid equivalents. They don't come with any battery management. It's not particularly expensive but you are buying something which is effectively a loose kit of parts that you're putting together yourself. Um, and you're also likely to be waiting some months before the thing is delivered. Uh, and whenever I've bought things uh, long distance like that, um, I've, I've started to worry a little bit that I'm going to be scanned. I'm just not going to receive the goods. And of course, if you want to return the goods, you are sending them back to China. So if there's anything wrong, you're sending them back to China. You're, you're certainly paying the um, cost of, of posting them and although these are not as heavy as a uh, lead acid battery they're not light either um, it would cost a small fortune uh, for you to post these back uh, yourself uh, whereas of course the manufacturer will be you know hiring a container and sending them all across in, in one big lot so um, for me the uh, sort of sense of reassurance of buying UK stock uh, from a company that you can contact, that will, that will respond to queries and, and did, did deal with some uh, questions that I had 
uh, was, was pretty important. So, um, we'll get these installed in my camper van. Uh, I'll uh, revisit it then, give you a bit of a sense of how they operate in uh, real usage. So, if you've uh, enjoyed this video and found it useful, uh, and you'd like to see any of my other videos where I uh, review bits of kit which um, I buy connected with um, camping or what I do further with these uh, lithium batteries. Um, it'd be great if you would uh, drop me a thumbs up and if you want to see further videos please do feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.